In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we acknowledge our sins, and we prepare ourselves now to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led St. Clair to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses summoned all of Israel and said to them, At that time the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, to be in attendance before the Lord and minister to him, and to give blessings in his name, as they have done to this day. For this reason, Levi has no share in the heritage with his brothers. The Lord himself is his heritage as the Lord your God has told him. The word of the Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. 
You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I consider everything as a loss because of the supreme good of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have accepted the loss of all things, and I consider them so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having any righteousness of my own based on the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God depending on faith to know him and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by being conformed to his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. It is not that I have already taken hold of it or have already attained perfect maturity, but I continue my pursuit in hope that I may possess it, since I have indeed been taken possession of by Christ Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I, for my part, do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind, but straining forward to what lies ahead, I continue my pursuit toward the goal, the prize of God's upward calling in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will yourselves sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Like so many of the saints, our patroness, St. Clara of Assisi, lived a life of conviction. There were no, uh, no half measures when it came to her devotion to God. She ran from the society of her times to find shelter under God's wings. She was the first woman to write a common rule for those women living in community. And even though others tried to convince her to adopt another way of life, a life less stringent uh, in its discipline, she remained very firm. She maintained prayer. She maintained prayer as the central activity of her life. She lived and breathed the commandment to love God above all else. And that spilled over into a life of charity towards her sisters in community. Even though we here are not members of a religious community like our patroness, St. Clair does have a lot to teach us. Things like devotion to God, being unafraid to live an authentic Christian life, living in the world, but not being of the world. Taking the gospel as our rule of life and the example of Christ as our rule of life. Keeping prayer as foundational, as central. And being charitable to others as God inspires us to be. We have a powerful intercession, we have a powerful companion and teacher in St. Clair. And the first lesson she teaches, teaches us is the importance of going to God always. Going to God going to the altar, kneeling at the feet of the one master teacher, and learning from him what it means to be brothers and sisters in Christ. Especially in our world today, we need to go to God 
because we need God to guide us and to lead us into peace today. And so today we say thanks be to God for our patroness, St. Clair. She is a blessing to us because, like all the saints, she points to something and to someone much bigger than ourselves. May we be so blessed to follow her guidance and come to know the one God of all. And my brothers and sisters, we profess now our faith, the faith that has been professed by all the saints down through the ages. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We pray for the clergy, pray for all the laity, indeed all the faithful, that Jesus will be the light, the peace, and the strength behind all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. For nations of the world, that the Holy Spirit will inspire people of wisdom, goodwill, and integrity to serve in positions of leadership, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are sick in any way, that they hear Christ's words of comfort and trust in his wisdom and mercy, let us pray to the Lord. For our parish community of St. Clair, for whom this Mass is offered, that we will grow in spiritual health so as to love and serve our God in his ways more truly and fully. Let us pray to the Lord. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood, to the diaconate, and to religious life from our parish and our diocese, let us pray to the Lord. And for all the faithful departed, especially those whom we call to mind at this time, Let us pray to the Lord. God, our Father, we ask you to hear these prayers we bring you today and to answer them according to your good and gracious will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, the Blessed Saint Clare, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness, and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Clare, our patroness, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, 
with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Saint Clare, bearing in our own body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you.